Hey world, this is Dr. Lakeisha J. Cole of thefaithoutcome.com and I am currently doing my workout. I have a little bit of time today in my schedule and it's been a minute since I've done a video outside working out uh, but I'm still always here and I wanted to go ahead and say thank you to all of my new subscribers to both my channels, Dr. Lakeisha Cole and True Wellness Consulting LLC. I really appreciate you. I want you to know that I do see you and I'm always inspired and just so humbled by every new subscriber that I receive because my mindset is I know the type of videos that I put out. So if you see a video and you decide to subscribe to my channel, I know the type of content that you had to see that motivated you to be a subscriber. So I really appreciate it and it just motivates me and inspires me to believe that you're in a place in your life, no matter what age you are when you subscribe, to have a positive attitude, to be able to laugh, to enjoy, to feel good about yourself, to take yourself to the next level whether it's physically, emotionally, spiritually, uh, mentally, I know that you're trying to graduate to another place. And because that's what my content is devoted to, I cover so many different areas. But today I really wanted to talk about some important things. Um, I have a super busy schedule now. So um, it is just great i love being busy because the things that i do for my work my job are always associated with my purpose so i never feel like a day is ever wasted uh i am i don't like to show the backgrounds but i'm out here working out and uh still trying to keep everybody motivated and inspired uh but there is just so much about life and so many areas and so many people who have dreams and goals. And when I talk about dreams, which I do a lot, you'll see on my Twitter X page, you'll see on my different social media platforms that, oh, it's a lot of trees been cut over here. Uh, but there is so much that people want to reach at every age that's why my channel is devoted to all people different backgrounds different age groups and different interests because we all aspire to be whether it is to be in love be in a relationship to be educated to be empowered uplifted encouraged to be motivated, inspired, to take our lives to a new level. There's no age that that doesn't happen. So I want to continue to inspire every person who is a subscriber to share my content with other people, especially if you believe that it is something that can be of support or help because we all need it every single day and um just like today we all have busy schedules sometimes you know we have days that we set aside for relaxation meditation a uh, worship in our lives and we still have daily schedules and for me i'm very passionate about everything that i do so much to the point that I have to observe that I know new people who come into my life who don't know me. They put their opinions and thoughts and their ways of being on me because they may not know how I, they don't know how I think, you know. They don't know who I am. They're just learning me. And it's so easy for people to assume make assumptions this is how you think this is what you're trying to say this is what you're trying to do and then they go and share their thoughts with other people 
And so it comes off as judgmental for you because you don't even know me yet. But yet the way that you think and feel about life and issues and your work and everything else is often portrayed onto other people because you're looking at what you think I lost my thought had to pause it uh, a total distraction but anyway um, you know it's easy to portray your thoughts onto other people and sometimes you miss it like I believe in assignments. I believe that we're all on an assignment every single day. Every day we're assigned to a particular person or group to inspire, to motivate, to teach, to show somebody something that they don't know, including ourselves. You cross people's path because they're here for you and you don't always know that. They may be a missing link to the next relationship you have. They may be a missing link to the job that you're doing. They may be the missing link to what you've been trying to do in your life for a long time, a goal you've been trying to reach that you've never been successful at because you were supposed to meet this particular person to help take you to the next level. Everybody does things differently. And we teach differently. We show things differently. We have different experiences in life. And all of that plays a major role in how we, it's time y'all, in how we help other people. God, I want to pause this, but I hope I don't mess up. It's time for me to run. Y'all know what time it is. Hold on. Okay, here I am. I'm ready. Need to catch my breath. But keep walking. Okay. Inhale. Okay. Here I go. Okay. So, I feel like those sprinters in the Olympics after they just ran and as soon as they are finished the reporters come up immediately they don't have a chance to catch their breath or nothing so whew, you understand I just sprinted across the field so I didn't walk or jog so I'm pretty lit up right now um, but every person is a sign for something different and sometimes we look at how we're here to help other people but we don't necessarily look and give ourselves the credit that other people are here to help us too and it's okay it's okay to get help and it's okay to be like this highly professional person who meets somebody else who is a highly professional person in a different area that's going to take you to your level outside of work somewhere that you've never gone before and to do something that you've never been able to do that's why I always acknowledge that we're spirits living in a human body because it is so easy to see yourself as a person who just looks at a person characteristically you see a person you judge their attitude you judge their characteristics you judge their the way that they look what you think you know about them what you've seen from them and don't even know that on a different level on a completely different side of things you can learn from that person you can see something different from that person when it comes to seeing them as an assignment for you or an assignment for them and it's not always easy to see this because you have to not only have a humble presence about yourself but really see yourself as every day you're a part of the universe that's working to 
go to another level and do something different and you can't do that if you see yourself as hold on there are so many outside distractions right now but um when you see yourself as a person who is every day you're going to the next level every day you're learning something new and if you see that person as oh that's my mother or my father or my sister or my brother or somebody who i know a family member or a co-worker or this or that it will always seem and appear as if you are not really able to open yourself up to receive what their gifts talents and skills are because you may not think that they're for you particularly and um, I'll give a brief example there was a person that I helped behind the scenes and they were a person who was in close proximity of my life and I had always been known to family and friends uh, for doing certain things because you know our families and friends they know what we do but not to the level sometimes they don't see you in your workspace they don't see you in your gifts and talents as far as how they can benefit from them and it's just like they still always see you like everybody in my family and in my life they see me as lucky lucky that's who i am um, they don't necessarily see me as Dr. Lakeisha J. Cole, how strangers see me, who I'm able to work with, how my students see me as a professor, an instructor, and or how my clients who have worked with me privately to reach their goals see me as you know this fitness pro this nutrition guru whatever but so our family members and our friends and people who are close to us or cross our paths co-workers etc anybody they only see you the way that they see you they don't know outside of that what you have to offer what you do how you can impact their lives and what part of you may be able to help them not in a way that i want to help you you want me to help you but like on an assignment completely unplanned and i helped this person individually one-on-one -on -one, never talked about it never shared it publicly um, as i do with all of my clients because i consider them to be you know personal assignments for me and for them and unless they share it you know, I don't, I don't, uh, I already said many times I'm a very private person and when somebody comes to me in confidence, I don't, um, I, I don't share that at all. So, uh, I helped this person and they had gone through a series of events that brought them to the place where they were ready to receive my help. And I was on a different level as well. And um, something that I was sharing with someone very special to me just recently, that in life as individuals, as individual people, we have to grow and we have to develop and grow. And a lot of times things that we want, things that we believe we deserve right now, we don't even know that we're not ready for them. We don't even know that there's a part of our lives in the future that's going to be that missing link and it's going to produce different results in us as an individual. And then we're going to um, grow in a different way and we'll be ready to do something else new and different. And, and we're able to receive something that we've been waiting for and looking for. It could be a relationship. It could be love. It could be 
a goal that we were trying to reach and again it doesn't matter your age because everybody has goals and we have short-term goals and long-term goals and things that we want to see happen right now that we're not always ready for and things that are waiting for a particular person whose path we have crossed and who has crossed ours and they are needing to grow before that puzzle piece can be connected and so i always want to make that a note but to continue on sometimes we come across people who who we know and we consider it being a personal relationship and yet these individuals are assigned to us and we're assigned to them in a different way to do something particular and when you reach a certain level in your life of maturity and experience sometimes you'll I keep losing my thought because there's so much distraction right now but you meet them at this level in your life where you're ready for them and they're ready for you and you're brought together to share something special and it's always something that will take you and them to a new level in your life and so I just wanted to say that this person was finally able to reach a goal that had been something they had wanted to do for many years, I would even say decades, and they were finally able to make it a dream come true, like it actually came true, and a lot of times there is not just like for example we may have a physical fitness goal but you think you're ready and there is a place and level of mental growth that needs to take place in your life before you can do it sometimes people just think oh well you know it can't be too hard it's just an exercise regimen let me go ahead and just get ready to participate in the exercise program. No, 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 honey. And I can tell you from doing it every single day. It is a certain mindset. So when you see winners, when you see champions who have done it, as they say, the right way, like you did it straight hard work, hard grind. You had to wait longer than you wanted to get that win you had to experience loss you had to go through hardship on the way up those individuals can tell you that it's just not something that comes easy it's a process and that process may take the time that you're not willing to give the time and credit in your life to grow